Hello kids! Today we are going to learn about time. Time is very important. Everything happens on time. We should wake up on time. We should sleep on time. We should study on time. We should eat on time. And we should play on time. Yes? So let's learn how to tell time. Let me show you a clock. This is a clock. This is a clock. And this is a clock face. Yes, this is a clock face. It has numbers from 1 to 12. It has numbers from 1 to 12. 12 at the top and it moves from left to right. Like this. And it is called clockwise direction. From 12 to 1. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and back to 12. Now let me show you the hands of the clock. Yes? Now we are going to talk about two main hands of the clock. Let's see the small hand first. This is the small hand. And it is called an hour hand. It is called an hour hand. Yes, hour hand. Yes, and it is the smallest hand. It is going to tell you that the R we are in. It is going to tell you the R we are in. Let me show you the another one now. It is the minute hand. Yes, it is the longest hand. And this tells how many minutes are in the current hour showing. Okay, it will tell you that how many minutes are in the current hour showing. There are 24 hours in one day. There are 24 hours in one day and in one hour there are 60 minutes. In one hour there are 60 minutes. When the hour hand, when the hour hand is, when the hour hand is on two, then we would say the time is two o'clock. Yes? We are going to say 2 o'clock. The time is 2 o'clock because the small hand is on 2 and the minute hand is on 12. The time would be 2 o'clock. And, and as I told you that there are 60 minutes in 1 hour. So to move this our hand to move this our hand to the next number which is three to move this our hand to the next number which is three the minute hand has to complete the circle yes the minute hand has to complete the circle that means it has to rotate from 12, from 12, I'll show you how. From 12 to 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and back to 12. Then it is going to be back to 12. The hour hand will move to the next number like this. Yes? And then the time would be 3 o'clock. Yes? Similarly, 
Similarly, to move the hour hand from 3 to 4, the minute hand has to rotate again. So when it starts rotating from 1, 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, the R hand will move to 4. Then the time would be 4 o'clock. Yes, because the minute hand has completed a circle of 60 minutes. Yes, like this, when it again completes the R, the R hand will move to 5. And the time would be 5 o'clock. Yes? Thank you.